Facebook campaign um, was actually started by Chelsea Rivers um, through Facebook. It's uh, right now it's mainly focused on a Facebook page, which um, is utilized to highlight those who abuse the law, abuse the spaces, um, and showing those to the public, and kind of a name and shame type of thing. But it's also got secondary uses uh, by engaging other entities to enforce or uh, increase sensitization throughout the um, whole community. Yeah, the word is out with the blue spot, and as you know, we partnered with the blue spot, and the IPS has been given out media information in relation to blue spot. So I think everybody is taking care of the information and it's getting harder to catch offenders. So behind me is a very good example of a well-signed, well-painted, designated area for handicap parking. The bright blue paint, the handicapped placard which is painted on the ground and the signpost which has the picture of a handicapped person in a wheelchair and perhaps it will say handicap parking on the parking curb as well. Next to the parking space is a hatched area which is also included in the disabled parking place. This is to enable the ramps to be used. It is also illegal to park in these or block these areas. It's not there for bicycle, moped or motorcycle parking. It is to be kept clear along with the actual designated parking space. We have got well over 200 captured images on the Facebook page of people breaking the law. Um, we have engaged the RCIPS to really look into this matter a lot harder. They have actively jumped on board and, um, and really made a difference. You can actually see the difference in the uh, retail establishments when you pull up. The spots being empty are much more often than, than they were prior to the blue spot starting. Personally, I've got a handicapped son um, and it is extremely difficult um, to do everyday things and uh, the blue spots are just a small part of trying to make life a little bit easier. Yeah, at the start of the campaign it was identified that a lot of handicapped people that were parking in the handicapped spots did not have a sticker. So they've been advised to go to the license department, uh, apply for a sticker, uh, which is $5 and it's valid for five years. There is also a temporary one, if you break your leg or break your legs, you can get a temporary one for up to six months. If you park illegally in a handicapped bay, you will face a $100 fine or alternatively a peer record.